guys, this is actually just juice. Yeah, this is juice. But, girl, the tea is hot, okay? I'm gonna give you guys some tea. Hey guys, it's Kia again. I am back again with another Kia Talks video and as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a bit of a story time for a change in this Kia Talks and I'm going to be speaking about girl on girl hate, which is something that a lot of people experience. Well, I'm not too sure, but like from what I've seen on social media, um, a lot of people actually do go through this. Um, firstly, I'm going to just be giving you guys a quick background with the story time, of course, and then I'm going to be going into the lessons I learned. And yeah, I mean, I've been putting off this video since like last year because I was just like, oh my gosh, I just don't want to go into things of the past. Like I'm completely over it. And then like, I was just like, I'm just going to do it. Like after going back and forth, I don't know for how long, literally since last year, I was just like, I want to do this. And I was like, nah, I don't think I should. I think I wasn't like emotionally ready to talk about it. But right now it's something I laugh about. So I guess we good, boo. So, um, okay guys, without any further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Um, I decided to actually like wear my glasses so if there is like a blue reflection in my like glasses I'm sorry, but I really want to keep them on before I start off this video I really just want to say that I'm not like really making this video because I want people to feel sorry for me or anything It's really like something I'm so over but I feel like it's something I should share so that maybe like people can learn from this and like maybe just handle other situations the way I handle this situation because I mean people find themselves in these kind of situations but it's so messed up but yeah so i'm gonna just be telling you guys about when it started and all of that and how i actually i actually ended it but anyway so basically this started when i was in high school so i went to an all-girls school and basically i got to the i went i went to a private school from grade one to six and then from grade seven to matric i went to like a normal school and the school i went to an all-girls school from grade seven to matric and um yeah it was crazy because you guys know how girls are and all of that like and then in grade seven when i got there i was obviously just still trying to find my feet because it's like a new school i don't really know much and it was obviously different from my private school so then i am now in the school it's my first year i'm chilling i'm making friends everything is good everything is really good you know what i mean so um one thing about me is that um with everything like if every phase of my life i have made it a point that i will strive to be the best version of myself like in every single phase of my life that is a standard that i have set for myself and i still live up to till this day so i was just like from grade eight now i see how things are at the school what happens and you know all this stuff so i had like then decided like okay cool i'm like sticking to my plan which is to be the best version of myself from beginning to end and that was literally it you know what i mean so um the i can't really really like recall when everything started in terms of like the hate and like what i was that i was getting from the girls but things got really bad in from like um my grade 11 year like yeah from the beginning of my grade 11 year to about the um the end of my matric year that's when things got like really bad for me and there were so many things that were happening but up until that point i had always like presented myself as someone who like like i don't know i was very i was raised to just I don't know like i like you guys know i have a very close relationship with my mom so because of that i always just like looked up to her and like she's just like a very put together lady so that was literally how i was i'm like i was very like put together in high school i was always on top of my like my game and and obviously that's what i wanted i wanted to be the best version of myself and in my head that was that girl the girl who just had everything under control and like I was doing well in like my academics and I was also doing well in my extramurals at school and all of that so basically the girl that I was in high school just to break it down for you guys I 
was doing a whole lot of things in high school like i was in like different committees but not a lot maybe like which thing did i do in high school i was like part of the drama club and all of that and i played first team netball and there was a time that i i thought of maybe doing debating but i didn't really pursue that um i would do like uh the drama festivals and all of that so i was basically busy at school and it wasn't even something that i did because i wanted to get noticed i was doing things that i loved and things that i wanted to do um it was never even about me trying my level best to try and get noticed or to be seen i mean i guess if i am doing something and i'm doing well at it then i guess i will be seen and that i say in the most like humble way i'm not trying to be weird in this video at all but like it's just i'm just gonna be stating facts so um i was i was like to be quite honest i was never really in the background and and again i didn't try to be in the background because i mean i was busy because i wanted to make the most of my high school experience and i think from grade nine then i was i would start getting like elected as like rcl which is like a leadership position and i think it was grade nine and grade 11 when i was rcl i can't really like remember that role but i think it was like it was two different years but i think it was grade nine and grade 11 or if it was maybe just one year ah uh, i think it was just like grade 9 and 11 or just grade 11 i just can't remember like maybe if you went to my high school please let me know in the comments because your girl forgets so then that was like from that i was always like you know busy i have always been someone who's very assertive like i don't beat around the bush i say things like how they are and i'm not one to just be like oh it's just a leadership position i don't care it's just high school i'm gonna take it lightly and try to be cool with my friends i did my job the way i was told to do my job and i didn't really care how people felt about it so i was just like doing what i was called to do i was doing what i was chosen to do like I took that very seriously and I would expect people to also do the same but that was not the case you know so I was just like oh okay so I guess I'm the only one who's taking this seriously because other people are just like okay yeah I need to do these things but ah oh, whatever I never had that whatever attitude that was not me that's not how I was raised and that's not how like I wanted to portray myself you know what I mean and then cool so grade 11 i was also in some kind of leadership position and i remember that's when everything started and in my grade 11 year i was also um that's when i started getting really busy with like um pursuing my modeling career and all of that because i thought i was going to be this model <laughs> but anyway cool then um i was starting to get really busy and i spent a lot of time when i was just like not at school grade 11 and my final year in high school i was not really at school that much because i was busy and thankfully i had a really good relationship with like my teachers as well as my principal so they were like really accommodating with that which is something i'm so grateful for because that was something that was that i needed you know what i mean and there was no kind of favoritism it was just like they just like were willing to help me figure everything out and mind you i'm still playing first team netball having drama having all these other committees which i'm probably i think i was like um vice captain for something for oh for one of the houses and that's like at my school those things were big like those things were serious you know what i mean wow for the most part like i took them seriously as well because yeah okay so then <laughs> great end of grade 11 now it's time to elect all these um what are they oh like the school leaders like the school leaders so cool it's time and whatever for me it wasn't necessarily like i wasn't stressed about it it was just like a thing like it's like whatever <clears throat> sorry and then i got elected so my school had two different sides um the side for hostel girls and the side for um for day girls right so then i was elected as the head girl for the day girls and then there's another girl who was elected for the hostel like she was the head girl for the hostel and there was a girl in the middle who basically like would oversee everything and that was one of my friends and we're still close till this day shout out to tilly and yeah so um cool so we would work all together and all of that but i really took my job seriously because it was something that i felt like i was chosen like to do so i didn't think of it as like oh whatever like 
nothing was whatever to me basically so then i remember now also just bear in mind i'm a very like assertive person and i just didn't understand why people would like like go out of their way to make either teachers jobs difficult or go out of their way to make like if anybody else's schooling life difficult or to go out of the way to just break the rules yes i also had fun in high school i had fun we did naughty things here and there but like i never really did anything that would affect anybody else in any kind of way so things with uh, where people were intentionally trying to make other people's lives difficult did not sit well with me and i was always the one to address it like yo dude what you're doing is not okay because like don't make things uncomfortable for other people i don't like things like that so i was always one to like like point things out and say it just how it is and all of that cool so then um the people get elected and everything is fine and that's when everything took off when i say everything popped off guys believe me when i say everything popped off i remember the beginning of my match like my matric year oh my gosh that was the first time i had like my first big meltdown because there was just so much negativity around me people were just always working overtime to make sure that my schooling life was difficult if they weren't like just saying horrible things about me they were just trying their level best to make sure that like i hated every minute of being at my high school like by just trying to influence other people to not like me and oh my gosh it was the worst and there were so many groups of people like obviously in there's a matric class and then there are cliques you guys know how high school is like there are cliques and then there was a clique that would just they just they just hated me even till this day i don't know why like I don't know why but they literally just hated me and there was a group of other girls like there were just so many groups that were that were they they loved each other like they loved each other but when it came to care it was just like we're all going guns blazing we're trying to take this girl down type of vibe and for me i never really understood it and for the most part i'm not gonna lie and sit here and tell you guys that sometimes i did not react like i would sometimes get out of character and just lose it because it's so tiring you're just trying to go to school perform the best that you can and like still keep up with your academics and be a good leader and um not disappoint the people who have trusted you with the school to like lead and be an example and on top of that like people are just trying to make your life difficult like i could it got to a point where like i remember the first meltdown meltdown i had i was given the task to like i can't remember what you had to do and then i had to obviously work with the whole grade and when i like they were just making it so so difficult for me and they and then i just lost it i literally lost it and i remember just like crying my life like my eyes out because it was just like i'm so frustrated because i just want to get the job done yet you guys are working so hard to make it like difficult for me and um it was it was like an intense like kind of like hate because it was like they would like they would lie to each other about me to make sure that everybody else feels the same way and it was like but for what because i'm not doing anything besides what i am told to do you know and they were like sometimes like in class i would like i would participate in class like i used to be that kind of girl where i just participate and like talk to teachers and whatever but then they would like if i raise up my hand then there's like mumbling behind me or they're just like saying something or not and oh my god like guys i can't even explain it was like i'm sure it doesn't make sense for me to call it hate but it really was hate those girls hated me like they hated me they would all oh, yo guys i don't think i can i can't i don't think i'm explaining it properly but like they just hated me and they would lie they would they would just gang up on me basically and yes i did have like good moments in high school and i had friends but the negativity almost took like the greatness of like high school away from me and also i would spend time away from school when i come back it's like another group now hates me or <sighs> Okay, I just don't know. And even if you could line all those people up right now and you ask them what was your problem with Kia, you know what they would say? Kia watena. 
okay ma'am and like so you met like remember this one time i was really going through a tough time because they like obviously were giving me a tough time and then this other girl who kind of used to act like she was a savior which she wasn't because she was always stirring the pot anyway um she was just like no these people actually just want to talk to you and blah 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 and then <laughs> they um they just want no no no. it wasn't even supposed to be like all of them it was supposed to be like one person there was this one girl who really really just hated me and they were like no she wants to smooth things over type of thing um i should go to a certain place and talk to her and there were other people who were going to be there so i was like okay cool it's fine um and then when i got there it was basically like the whole grade kind of like waiting for me and they were just like kind of telling me i don't like this about you i don't like this about you and all of them were just basically saying that like i speak down to people and the thing is people can't really like differentiate between like speaking down and being assertive and it's like you like speak down to people but like I'm, I'm sorry it's not my problem that you're not like used to realness like that was literally my standpoint like I'm being real I'm not gonna sugarcoat so that you like it doesn't hurt as much when I say it like this is what it is and like I'm just like that's who I am and if you can't handle it sorry like not really sorry but yeah and there were also like a lot of things of people they thought I was sucking up to the teachers so they hated me for that they thought um, they would say like um, I think the world revolves around me ma'am 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 if you're talking about me then I guess the world does revolve around me <laughs> I'm kidding guys but like literally it was so annoying and like I'm trying to make it like seem less um, not that I'm trying to make it I'm just not explaining it like how deep it was because I'm just like some parts I can't even remember and I'm just like completely over the whole thing but it was deep to the point where certain days I would kind of like my mom I would cry to my mom every almost every week because I couldn't take it and I would stay at school for long hours because I had so many responsibilities like my knockoff day like my knockoff time from school would probably be 9 p.m. in the evenings almost every single day of the week because I had things to do you know so I would literally go home and cry to my mom because I always had to put up like put up a brave face the whole day just so that they don't feel like they're getting to me and then get home and it's just like oh my god I would literally break down and I would see how much it like would affect my mother and all of that but she always raised me to just um to be strong to really be strong and that like uh now I'm about to get emotional Oh my god. You see every time I talk to about my mom this happens. Just give me five. Um but yeah, literally my mom um she really raised me to be so strong and without her in that year I would have literally easily sunk into some kind of depression because I was constantly under pressure. <laughs> Just give me five. Because, like, I mean, I was constantly under pressure and um, I was surrounded by a lot of negativity. And um, to make matters worse, um, as much as I had so many friends, I felt alone. And, um, but I mean, it's like no bad blood to them. And I also had like a very toxic friendship in my matric year, which didn't make um, my, my schooling life any easier. But I'm literally so grateful for my mom because sometimes she would even know that I'm lying because I'm like trying to fake being sick because I don't want to go to school because I just I just want to do my work at home, you know, and not have any kind of negativity surrounding me. And then like there was also a time where I literally just wanted to give in my badges and just say I am done. I just want to be a school. I mean, I just want to be like a normal scholar in the background where people won't see me because then maybe they will stop talking and that will make my thing like my life a lot easier at school. But I just realized that like I was chosen. Not only was I chosen by other people in the school to be in that position, but it was my life's purpose at the time to be in that position. So I had to 
as much as it was so challenging, I had to just pick myself up and keep going. And, oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, literally that time for me was very, it was very, very difficult. And till this day, I'm still trying to figure, like, I, I was, I think throughout last year, I started to think like some of the things that I was struggling with were fueled by what I had gone through with those people and I was just like, I ain't even gonna give them that much credit. Like they really, they did get to me, but I got to pick myself up and just realize that I am who I am. And if somebody can't like handle it, it has absolutely nothing to do with me. So yeah, so that's like just a brief summary of like everything that happened like not even everything some of the things that happened to me while i was in high school but like i think i downplayed the whole situation but trust me when i say that it was not easy it was it was so not easy and it, there was even a time towards the end of my matric year or was it the beginning mind you i think it was i think it was the beginning like the year after we had like matriculated oh yes i had defended my friend a friend of mine because somebody had said something like really rude about both of us but then i was the one to defend because like i was just fed up i was just like you guys have been doing this for a year i'm not gonna put up with this anymore so then i had like i defended her and it was like a whole sort like a whole uh thing on like whatsapp and they were sharing stories and saying that uh, they're gonna come beat me up and I deserve to be beat up. All I ever do is talk. This one girl said I look like a knee. Guys, they said I look like... <laughs> Let's actually just laugh at that. This girl said I look like a knee. A knee! I was just like, ah, guys, not like this. <laughs> not like this. Ah, you must hate me so much you call me a knee. Guys, a knee is literally the ugliest thing. I was like, what's wrong? Really? So yeah, now that I <laughs> now that I think about it, it's actually funny. Um, I'm gonna now get into the lessons that I learned throughout that period, and that's it. Lesson number one, or what I took from that whole thing. I'm just looking at my phone, guys. Um, what I took from that whole thing is that people project their insecurities without even realizing it so in a way like i had said like i've said in my other videos people's problems with you to so to a certain extent are extension of the problems that they have with themselves so um i even got to like in in that time like period and all of that because i was like one of the head girls and all of that we always had to do like public speaking you know and like address people and i never had like anxiety about doing that but when you know there are five, no, 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 there are about 60 people in the crowd waiting for you to mess up, it would give me the greatest anxiety because it's just like, I was just, I, I, that's when I feel like I started overthinking things because of like, I, there was just way too much negativity, you know what I mean? So, and then I started to realize that and all of that. And so people's, like people project without even realizing it like people will just show who they truly are without even realizing it but i think throughout that whole thing what i learned is that i need to stay true to myself you know what i mean because like you could step like another thing that i wrote down here is that you could step into a room and be friendly with every single person in there there will be at least one person who finds something that they don't like about you but to be quite honest it has absolutely nothing to do with you and that was something my mom would tell me every single day when i would break down and cry she would be like how they feel about you has nothing to do with you because it's a decision they have made on their own you know what i mean and i was just like okay like that's it and from that whole thing another thing that i realized is that i had set a standard for myself and i was living up to that standard and carrying myself in that way and 
making sure that I wasn't disappointing myself, you know what I mean? And that is what I wanted for myself. It didn't have to make sense to anybody else but me. But the standard that they had set for, for them, like for themselves, was obviously different. And they didn't, like, they couldn't understand why I was doing the things I was doing. But my thing is, it wasn't even their place because I was not going out of my way to figure out why they were acting the way they were acting. I was just like, how can you be mad about somebody else's existence if it doesn't affect you in any way? Like I was pushing my own things. I was pushing my own things. I was always in my lane, never overstepping, just doing what I needed to do, yet people were mad. If you guys can just let me know down in the comments, like, what? <laughs> like, I just, I still, I don't get it, but I don't think I really want to get it, but it is what it is, ma'am. Okay, don't ever feel the need to shrink yourself so that other people feel comfortable around you because this links back to whatever problems they may have, they can project, but like it's not your responsibility to make yourself small for them to feel comfortable. It's, it's never a thing. Don't ever make it a thing. Like in that moment where I wanted to give away all my badges, all the things that I learned. I mean, all the things that I was rewarded and given for the person that I am. Like there was, a, there was this one time I was given, like a, along with three other girls, I think, um, the, uh, an award, which is the highest award you can get at our school. And I wanted to, and it's such a great honor and a privilege to have that. And I'm so, so grateful for it. But like, I wanted to give that away just so that those people can be comfortable. Thank God I came to my senses because it was not my responsibility to build up their character. But anyway, and another thing, a lot of people, because of the way I carried myself, the way I looked and behaved and whatever, I mean, some, a lot of people really say I look unapproachable, but that doesn't mean I'm un, like, I am unapproachable. Like your character, just always think about your character and forget about your appearance. That's the thing. Cause it's so easy to start living up to like, um, your appearance you know because people say i look unapproachable i could easily start being like unapproachable and being rude and being that but i chose to just like basically be myself outside of the narrative that they had compiled against me they probably just looked at me as this narcissistic um i don't know suck up um, I, don't, I can't come up with any more words. I'm sure they could do better in terms of coming up with words <laughs> to describe me, but like of how they saw me. But like I could have easily like sh would like shrink into that because I mean there are so many girls that like because she looks rude now and she's not even rude, ne? Then all of a sudden she acts rude just because it's like a thing. You know what I mean? Oh, but and it's just like it's weird it's weird be nice people to other people the thing is that if you are chosen to step up there's no reason for you to stay the same because obviously the people who chose you and have trusted you with a certain position and uh, so like certain responsibilities they believe like they trust that you will make it work and you will actually be like you will do well so there's absolutely no reason for you to stay the same and people always used to just like go around talking about how i have changed and i think i'm better than everyone and obviously that wasn't the case um because i was put in a different position i had to move differently that's how life works i don't know why it wasn't clicking in their brains but that's not for me to like understand but if you're put in a different position you are required to move differently you know there's no way you can do well by acting the way you did before you know what i mean i know that some people may look at this video and think um because if everybody has the same problem with you then that might just be a problem but in this situation i'm not even trying to like i wouldn't like try to lie to make myself look like anything else but honestly i was just like existing and living up to my purpose and um at the time and people were just mad and the thing that ended this whole schmess for me was not reacting you know this thing went on for all for 
I mean, it was lingering from about the time I was in grade nine. It was like a build up. The time I was in grade 11, then they were like fed up with me. So it was more than half a year. So what? It was longer than, it was longer than like a year and a half. I can't speak, but like literally, um, the best thing to do is to not react. Like they would do things, say things, and I was no longer defending myself. I was no longer speaking back when they were giving me the heat. Cause I won't lie, like I can take the heat, but best believe I'm gonna give it back to you. Like that's how I used to be. Now I literally let people while out and I'm just like, is you done, ma'am? Is you done? So like, that's what really helped me not reacting at all until they got tired and best believe honey they got tired by the time it was matric exam nobody was bothering me nobody i don't know if it was because everyone was just like old oh, school or what but no clearly they were still bothered because they were talking the year after whatever but like I was not bothered anymore and I had made decisions that I'm not gonna let this get to me anymore and I have things to worry about. I mean in high school I was really just working towards making sure that once I am out of high school I actually have something to stand on and the fact that me doing me and me making sure that like I am like planning my future really irritated people. <laughs> is still beyond me like man some stuff is just whack like that was whack but yeah i'm really just so grateful for that whole experience i am and i'm able to like now with <laughs> withstand like a whole lot and i don't react you can even ask my friends like i i'm just one person who doesn't react a person could really try me and i'm just not gonna give them the satisfaction of knowing that they like got to me because truth is they won't get to me because whatever problem they have is their problem so yeah <laughs> so guys that was my story i really gave you guys the surface level of what really really went down because i don't think it's necessary to go into that um i was not even gonna try to like i wouldn't even name drop i wouldn't do that firstly because like people don't deserve my time and they don't deserve air time they don't deserve all of this <laughs> you know what i mean so i would never name drop but yes sis that was the tea or the juice and it was piping hot be kind be nice to people and like empower and uplift other women don't bring other women down clap for women who are doing well for themselves be inspired don't be like pressed be inspired and i feel like as females we really need to uplift each other because i feel like we live in a world that is just all about oppressing women so it makes no sense for us to oppress each other and make each other feel like bad i mean we don't we don't need that we need each other so just be a good human being i beg please please guys okay guys this is the end of the story time and i really hope that you guys enjoyed like listening to my story that was a little all over the place but i hope you got to get an idea of the whole situation and you're able to take something away from this please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video because this might just help somebody who might be going through something similar and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.